Hello, so we'll talk about oxygen flux, that is oxygen delivery. To understand oxygen delivery, we need to understand the oxygen content of the blood because blood is the vehicle by which the oxygen is transferred from the alveoli to the tissues. So, we will start our discussion with discussing the arterial oxygen blood content, arterial blood oxygen content and how do we calculate in any individual the oxygen delivery, oxygen consumption, what is oxygen extraction ratio and in disease condition how are these changed. So, let us start our discussion with oxygen content. Now, as, as I said that blood is the vehicle through which the oxygen is delivered from lungs to the tissues and blood carry the oxygen 99% bounded to hemoglobin and 1% dissolved in the blood. So, to calculate the total oxygen content of the blood, we need to uh, sum up these two, uh, these two ways by which the blood carries the oxygen. So, we need to sum up whatever oxygen is carried bounded to hemoglobin and whatever oxygen is carried dissolved in, in blood. So, the formula is that 1.34 into total hemoglobin concentration multiplied by the saturation of the arterial blood and we add it to the oxygen tension in the blood multiplied by the solubility co coefficient. So, 1.34 this is what? This is 1.34 ml per gram of 1.34 ml of oxygen is carried by per gram of hemoglobin. So, 1.34 multiplied by hemoglobin concentration multiplied by the saturation and we sum it with the solubility coefficient of the oxygen and oxygen tension in the blood and this is what is the total oxygen content of arterial blood and this comes out to be 20 ml oxygen carried by per deciliter of blood right okay so now let us discuss how much oxygen uh, normally is present in mixed venous blood. So, in the same way we will calculate the oxygen content of mixed venous blood 1.34 into hemoglobin concentration into the saturation of the mixed venous blood and we sum we add it to the solubility coefficient of oxygen with the oxygen tension in the mixed venous blood and this comes out to be 15 ml of oxygen per deciliter of blood right. So, we have calculated arterial oxygen concentration and mixed venous blood oxygen concentration. Now, let us talk about oxygen delivery. What do I mean by the word oxygen delivery or oxygen flux? Oxygen delivery is the amount of oxygen which is deliver, delivered from lungs to the microcirculation and it depends upon the oxygen content of the arterial blood and also depends upon the cardiac output. So, oxygen delivery is the rate the rate at which oxygen is transported transported from lung to the microcirculation to the tissues to the microcirculation right and we designate it as do2 right so oxygen delivery in ml per minute is the unit which we will use and it depends upon the cardiac output that is Q we will write for the cardiac output multiplied by the oxygen content of the arterial blood right. So, cardiac output is let us say your 5 liters per minute the oxygen content of the arterial blood I have just now discussed it is your 20 ml per deciliter right 20 ml oxygen per deciliter of the blood is the arterial content of the art oxygen content of the arterial blood right 20 ml oxygen per deciliter of blood so if we calculate do2 right how we will calculate it so if 20 ml oxygen is present in 100 ml of the blood right this is 1 deciliter how much will be present in 5 liter per minute that is 5000 ml per minute right. So, we have to multiply 20 into 5000 divided by 100 ok and this comes out to be 1000 ml per minute right. So, oxygen delivery per minute is 1000 ml per minute 
ओके सो दिस इज ऑक्सीजन डिलीवरी और ऑक्सीजन फ्लस्क इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द कार्डियक आउटपुट इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द आर्टीरियल ऑक्सीजन आर्टीरियल ब्लड ऑक्सीजन कंटेंट ओके नो लेट एस टॉक अबाउट ऑक्सीजन कंजम्पशन ऑक्सीजन कंजम्पशन और वी राइट इट वी ओ टू इज द रेट एट विच ऑक्सीजन इज कंज्यूम्ड बाय द टिश्यूज और ऑक्सीजन इज टेकन यूटिलाइज बाय द टिश्यूज सो इट इज रेट एट विच ऑक्सीजन इज रिमूव्ड ऑक्सीजन इज रिमूव्ड फ्रॉम ब्लड for its use for its use by tissues by the tissues right and how do we calculate it now this can be directly calculated or directly measured or it can be derived from formula so it can be directly calculated right or it can be derived or measured it can be measured right how do we measure it now measurement can be done by a device called respirometer in which the patient breathes in a box with a continuous supply of the gas and whatever oxygen is utilized from that box and how much carbon dioxide and water vapor is produced in that box it is measured and we calculate whatever oxygen is consumed so as i said it can be measured by a device called respiro respirometer right so in this patient breathe continuously patient breathe continuously through a chamber through a chamber that receives air flow that receives continuous air flow continuous air flow right so we calculate how much oxygen is depleted and how much carbon dioxide and water vapor is produced so this can measure the oxygen consumption and calculation can be done by the formula right uh, the normal vo2 is equal to q that is the cardiac output multiplied by the arterial oxygen blood content minus the venous oxygen blood content the mixed venous oxygen blood content or remember this uh, measuring of the of the oxygen consumption and calculation is based on one assumption that whatever oxygen is not utilized by the tissue is completely returned to the venous blood so whatever is the arterial content and whatever remaining in the venous blood they are sub is it is subtracted from the total arterial content and that would be the oxygen which has been utilized by the tissue so it's on assumption that there is no wastage of oxygen in between okay so this is how the oxygen consumption can be calculated now let us talk about oxygen extraction now what is oxygen extraction it is the slope of the graph which shows the relationship between oxygen consumption and oxygen flask right so it is the slope of oxygen extraction is the slope of relationship relation ship between the oxygen delivery and oxygen consumption oxygen consumption right and normally it is calculated by it is expressed as oxygen extraction ratio that whatever oxygen has been removed from the arterial blood over the total oxygen content which was present in the arterial blood so normally it is calculated as oxygen extraction ratio right oxygen extraction ratio that is proportion of arterial oxygen which has been removed from blood so this is proportion of oxygen removed from arterial blood removed from arterial blood so how we will calculate it it would be your cao2 that is oxygen content of the arterial blood minus cvo2 that is oxygen content of the mixed venous blood divided by cao2 right and in normal circumstances it is 0.25 to 0.3 so this is the normal oxygen extraction okay this is the normal oxygen extraction so we have to know this now uh under normal physiology what happens during no our normal physiology 
the oxygen consumption is directly proportional i mean it is proportional not directly it is proportional to oxygen delivery and oxygen extraction ratio and oxygen extraction is inversely proportional to oxygen delivery so what do i mean by first statement first statement which i said that vo2 that is your oxygen consumption is proportional is proportional to oxygen delivery that is do2 and oxygen extraction right so under normal circumstances it is proportional now the second statement i said that do2 that is oxygen delivery and oxygen extraction oxygen extraction they are inversely proportional are inversely proportional so what do i mean by this i mean that when delivery is more then extraction would be less and if delivery oxygen delivery is less the compensation happens by a high oxygen extraction but whatever oxygen is required by the tissues by the microcirculation it is taken out and our vo2 that is oxygen consumption nearly remains constant over a high range of oxygen delivery right now if we see this graph what do i see in this graph that what i said just now that vo2 that vo2 remains constant over a wide range of do2 so this is the oxygen delivered and oxygen delivered let's say this is let's say 400 ml per minute to let's say 1200 per minute it is from less to high it is increasing over entire period the oxygen consumption remains constant right what is happening at lower oxygen flow the delivery the extraction is higher at a higher oxygen delivery the extraction is less so oxygen extraction compensate for the low oxygen delivery and makes uh, keeps the oxygen consumption constant the requirement of the tissue is fulfilled okay and in exercise definitely the oxygen delivery is increased oxygen delivery is increased and uh, over the let's say your uh, oxygen consumption uh, and uh, in during exercise the oxygen extraction ratio is also also increased okay now so the same statement which i said that vo2 that is oxygen consumption remains constant over a wide range of oxygen delivery because do2 that is delivery are balanced by the reciprocal changes in oxygen extraction more the delivery less the extraction less the delivery higher is the extraction but total requirement of the tissue is met now there is something called critical oxygen delivery that is the oxygen delivery in uh, at which the oxygen consumption starts decreasing so it is constant here right but there is a certain amount of de oxygen delivery at after that the oxygen consumption would start decreasing and that we call it critical oxygen delivery so i am talking about critical oxygen delivery so if you see this graph this is a graph between oxygen consumption and oxygen delivery okay so uh, under normal circumstances the oxygen delivery remains sorry oxygen consumption is on the y axis here oxygen consumption remains constant over a wide range of delivery so over a wide range of delivery the oxygen consumption remains constant this is the critical point below which if the delivery decreases the consumption also starts decreasing right so this is normal critical oxygen delivery now in uh, diseased condition like sepsis or any other pathological state where the oxygen requirement of the body increases because energy requirement is more and more aerobic respiration is required so more oxygen is utilized so in that circumstances where the oxygen consumption is increased the blood flow the oxygen delivery at which the critical oxygen delivery would be achieved at a lower oxygen uh, at uh, let's say at a higher oxygen delivery so let's say this is uh, oxygen delivery 
point this much is oxygen is being delivered in ml per minute now this has become the critical oxygen delivery which is at a higher